So now we're in the gardens of Nunnington House. First of all, may I say thank you for watching, liking, sharing, and ringing the bell. And a special thank you to all those who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, but on the other hand, you'd like to make an old man quite happy, then go for it. A lot of the rose has gone over, but still one or two fighting on. Lovely border here. Fruit orchards and wild flowers. Well, we've already seen the um, peacock. I didn't film him, perhaps I should have done. Some lovely, lovely borders. Wow, right up the back there with the tall yellows been well thought out these borders have but my wife is still in the house somewhere and I'm not I'm sure she'll find me eventually in time enough for a cup of tea and uh, that'll be great won't it obviously they've left a lot of this grass and the uh, wildflowers to grow up so they can um, be there for the bees and the butterflies. There's a butterfly flying around. These are beautiful borders indeed. Oh, you can go up. I think we'll go up there on the way back. There's a butterfly plant, Bodleia. There's a mixture here of uh, planted and wildflowers. I think that's quite intentional. It's down there is a horse made out of wire by the looks of it. Shall we have a look? Do you want to have a look? Oh, all right, then we'll go down. Have a little, a little look. There's the house beyond the orchard. A very different day to what we had yesterday. We were walking around uh, York in 30 degrees. We had a great time, but my word, it was, um, it was not too cold at all at 30 degrees. Yeah, he's all made out of galvanised wire. How about that? Right, we'll go back down here past the pear tree. Pears are all coming on nicely, a little small at the moment, but they're looking good. Looks like there's going to be a good crop. Now at the edge of the walled garden. I'll go back up this way, I think. Some huge trees here. Those borders are indeed. Oh, it's a bee beehive there. Oh, some apples off this tree here. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't think of the name of the plant there. Can you hear the uh, doves cooing away there? Another butterfly? They look nice, don't they? It's uh, raining a little, but it has been for a while, so but it's not very, not very hard. Just a light sprinkling. I rate these gardens. I don't mean I'm irate. I, I rate them. They are good. They are great. They're fabulous. Lavateria. 
Or is that quince? Hmm, now I'm wondering. Could be quince, and of course you use the fruit from quince to make um, jam with because you get the pectin in the seeds of the quince and uh, this means you, your jam is going to set rather nicely. Not that many people will still be watching, but you know, it's nice to inform myself. <laughs> what an idiot. There we go. <coughs> I can smell, I can smell these lovely roses here. They, beautiful. You're doing a grand job. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So we'll just go down this side a bit. There's lovely seats all around to sit in. If it wasn't raining, but as you can see, the ground still looks dry. It's only just a, a few odd spits and it's 20 degrees. So it's not, it's drying as it's hitting the ground. It's not helping the gardens very much. Ah, oh, now. They're nice, aren't they? Golden rod, that's nice. My father used to grow those. No idea what these yellow ones are. few steps. Lovely bees on these gardens here. You can see the bees gathering nectar. for now and thank you for watching.